Welcome, I feel I'm using LG V40, thank you, and today I'll show you how to transfer files from the device to an SD card or vice versa. So to get started you want to open up the file manager app which will be located in the management folder right here, the yellow folder, there we go. And once you open it, you'll be straight in your uh, phone's memory, as you can see all the folders right here, and you have access to your photos right here, screenshots, music, downloaded content, anything. Um, so if you're wondering where is what, uh, photos and videos that you have captured with the device will be under DCIM folder. So if you go right here, you can see I have some files to move. Um, pictures will have screenshots, which I don't think there is any, so there we go. Um, then you also have movies, music, which are usually placed there by users, so you would probably know. And downloads will have anything that you have downloaded using the uh, browser or email, stuff like that. So, to move it, first locate your files. For me, it's going to be these pictures right here. So, you want to select them, and to select them, tap on the three dots, and you have the two options, either copy or move. Choose whichever one suits you. Move will completely remove them from where they are and move them to your to the new location of your choice. While copy will just create additional copy of them while keeping the old ones where they are right now. So whichever one you choose, you will get then get to select them. So you can select which ones you want. You can select all of them as well. Uh, or probably the better way to do it, just cancel this, uh, is to just select the entire folder if you want to move all of them. So if you want to move all the content, you would just select the entire folder. So I'll just tap on move for instance and do this. And then, oops, and then tap on move like so. And it gives you the two different storages. So we have the SD card and the internal storage. Now the files that I'm moving are located right now on the internal storage. So I will move them to the SD card. So that's what I'm gonna choose here. And also they originated from the DCIM folder. So that's where I will want to put them in, but you can, might as well just put them right here if you wish. It doesn't actually matter uh, how you organize it. It's just a matter of preference right now and what is easier for you to find later on. So I'm going to keep it organized and put it right here. Now, as you can see, there is already a uh, camera folder which I want to move, which I can tap on OK and it will replace it. But just before I do, you can see that this one is empty at the moment. Now, if you go to a location that you don't, you don't want to put the files in, don't press the back button, it completely screws up the entire process basically. Uh, actually, I will just show it as an example. I don't follow this at the moment, but if you press back, it takes you back to the folder that you want to select and then you have to tap move again and navigate to the location again because uh, back button is in such a weird place. It's basically this bar right here. So if I locate right here, for instance, and I want to go back, I would have to tap on the specific directory like so. Otherwise, if I press the back, it completely screws up everything. So choose where you want to move it. And I'm going to move it here, like I said before, and then tap on OK. And you see uh, that the camera already exists, uh, override. So I'll tap on override. And now we're still on the SD card. So if I tap on it, you can see that now all the pictures are in the SD card and the DCIM camera folder, which previously was empty. And if I were to go back now to the internal storage, let me just do that. And there we go, internal storage. Uh, that's where pictures were originally. And as you can see, the folder is now fully empty. So that is how you would move files on your device. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.